previously on the Aquabat Super Show. Just outside of Detroit! You got a hot dog? Hey, dumb kids. Huh? We're just wondering why you're so dumb. But what did we do? Hey, shut your dumb face! <laughs> I'll take a bubble gum. Huh? <laughs> hey! Pretty pardon me, good sirs. A pilgrim? It's not even Thanksgiving. I beseech ye cease these ram shambles outright and depart ye post haste. What language is that? I don't know. It sounds like cursive. Yeah. What are you gonna do, pilgrim boy? Make us some oatmeal? <laughs> yeah. They're gonna fight. Yeah. I promise those boys shan't return, and you may now resume your activities in peace and safety. <laughs> hey, great job, little pilgrim homie! We're the Aquabats, and that was amazing! Oh, thank you, kind sir. Hey, you're a pilgrim! You like turkey, right? Ooh! We've got one roasting back at the Battle Tram. Why don't you join us for dinner? And then we can play some fantasy football. It'll be just like Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, I thank thee for thine hospitality and graciousness, good sirs. I've eaten naught but barley and oats, dried and unseasoned for the past 90 days. Uh, sure. <laughs> Anytime, young pilgrim boy. <laughs> Let's go. The Aquabats will be back after these messages. <laughs> Watching a movie with friends is fun. <laughs> Watching a movie with friends and eating a box of snaky snacks is even more fun. But be careful, because those are snaky snacks. And he wants them back. snacks down right now. Oh man, not again. Okay, okay, geez. I just wanted some snaky snacks. Snaky snacks. So good, Snaky wants them back. From Gloopy. And now back to the Aquabat Super Show. Quite easy. 
This is the C chord. This is the D chord. Oh, man! <laughs> Better luck next time, robot. <laughs> Pilgrim boy, I hope I'm not prime, but I've been wondering something. How did you do that before? You know, in the park. Oh, you mean change my form into that monster from prehistory? Yeah, are you a superhero or an alien? Or like, an awesome dude from another dimension? <laughs> no, I'm a shapeshifter. Meaning I can change my form into well, anything, really. Seriously? Anything? How about a monster truck? Or a snake with giraffe legs? Oh, my friends, I thank you for your kindness. But you see, it's excruciatingly painful to shift my shape. Therefore, I only do it when it's absolutely necessary. That is so cool! Can you change into a bucket of purple ice cubes? Uh, yes, I'm surety. Why does everyone always ask for that? Aw, oh, come on, just do it real quick! Oh, all right, if it pleases ye. My fellow citizens of the world, United Nations, friends of the Earth, we are facing perhaps our greatest crisis. We are currently doing everything in our power to stop the creature. Mute! Right now, I'm more interested in watching Pilgrim Boy shapeshift. What else can you change into? To a wing shark that spits out gold coins. No crash. Too messy. I mean, who's gonna want to pick up all those gold coins? Oh yeah, good point. Maybe a motorized bar of soap. Great idea, robot. <laughs> okay, pilgrim boy. Oh hi. I. 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 Please. Please. Change into a cartoon. I might try. <laughs> oh, yes. It's a cartoon. When left, we lost the Aquabats. They totally blew up the moon, only to find that Jimmy the Robot was infected with alien parasites. And the only way to save their robot friend is to shrink themselves down. We shrunk ourselves into this microscopic battle shuttle. Yes, Eagle Bones, we did. Friends? My friends have come. To save me? Ah, uh, I'm alone again. Don't worry, Jimmy. Your friends are much closer than you think. Look at all these parasites. How do we get rid of them? Commander, if we can just reboot Jimmy's CPU, it'll initiate his antivirus software and destroy any foreign parasite in the system. Reboot his sleepy you and imitate his what? Turn his brain off and then turn it on again. Wait! Eagle Bones! That antivirus will destroy any foreign parasite? Including us? Oh yeah. I guess once Jimmy reboots, we'll only have seconds to get out or we're toast. Uh, guys, I think we should hurry to the CPU! Meanwhile, outside the battle tram, a grody space worm closes in! 
Wake up, Jimmy! Battle damage! Back inside Jimmy's robot brain, the Aquabats reach the CPU. Can they reboot their friend and escape in time? Better act fast, Commander! Oh, snap! Not working! It's not working! You have to hold the button down! I am holding it down! No, you're not! I am holding it down! Look! I am looking, and I can clearly see... <gasps> Commander, behind you, there are a few parasites! How many is a few? Uh, 500 or so? Oh, crud balls! The Bat Commander surrounded by parasites? A malfunctioning Jimmy attacked by a space worm? Can things get any more dangerous? Absolutely! Tune into the next episode! <laughs> 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 wait, wait, wait. What about a clown riding a 50-foot dragon made out of... You guys, look at him. Can't you see he's in pain? He speaks the truth, my friend. Shape-shifting is most unpleasant. Besides, aren't he heroic champions? Shouldn't you be marshalling your forces to fight yonder monstrosity? What? Unmute. 30 minutes ago, what can only be described as some kind of giant space cricket was seen moving rapidly outside the city of Detroit, heading for the pineapple plantations. This is a major emergency! Great. A major emergency, and this dude over here is distracting us with his silly tricks. Seriously, Pilgrim Boy. Mm. Wait, Commander. Maybe he could help. Good point, Jimmy. I don't know. That bug looks pretty big. Pilgrim Boy, change into a giant kangaroo and squash that bug lickety-split. That doesn't it! I've had it! Pilgrim Boy, change into a cow! We need milk! Oh, Pilgrim Boy, we need eggs! Change into a chicken! Well, I'm finished! Here with... Problem. Yeah, seriously. Touchy. Why would the shape shifting pilgrim boy leave us at a time when the Detroit pineapple crop was being threatened by a giant potato bug? Yes, it makes no sense. Isn't it kind of obvious, guys? Uh, no. He has to deal with stuff like this all the time. You guys don't know what it's like to be different than everyone else. You have no idea what it's like to be ignored, to be so very different, to never quite belong. Aquabats! Let's go fight that giant potato bug! Yeah! Yeah! It's headed for the pineapple plantation. Hang on, pineapples. We're on our way. Super Show.
Advance! Attack! Crash! Launch missiles at target! Roger, Victor Vector! We got a bogey! Fire missiles at target! Bring the house! Copy that! That's it, men. I'm afraid we're completely out of options. Let's accept our fate. It's been a pleasure working with all of you. Not yet, Commander. I have an idea. Summon the dude! Dude, find the pilgrim boy! Go! Fly, dude, fly! Great work, dude! I'm so sorry, pilgrim boy. I understand how you feel. It wasn't right how we were treating you. Oh, I thank you for your understanding, Eagle Bones. Please forgive me for leaving me. Of course we forgive you, Pilgrim Boy. But we could really use your help right now. I know what must be done. Hurleth me hither and yon. What? Just throw me at the bug. Oh. Be careful, brave Pilgrim Boy. <laughs> There's no pineapples left in Detroit. Aquabats, for helping me realize that as heroes, we must do our very best, even if it means we must endure terrible physical pain. Yeah, yeah. Hey, can you turn into some fireworks? That would really help this moment. <laughs>